In the wake of COVID-19, Donlin was quick to make changes and adaptations, some of which will have lasting implications. How has Donlin changed? I, I see that Donlin has adapted uh, short term in how it services its customers. And, and long term, there will likely be changes in its service offerings as well. But let me give you a couple of examples of how this is playing out. Uh, currently and for the near term, Donlin has played a role of communicator uh, to and for its customers. Um, for us, this begins with collaboration with all of our industry partners, from motor vehicle departments and toll departments and supply chain vendors to upfitters, uh, maintenance and accident vendors, and even our parent company, Hertz. Uh, we want to understand precautionary and service measures that our partners are taking, and in turn, we communicate these measures outward as a non-traditional but essential service, uh, if you will, for our customers. Um, additionally, uh, we're polishing off and dusting off some of our historically less used services that we're seeing gain importance with customers. Services like a sale leaseback, uh, where Donlin will buy for cash the assets owned outright by a customer and then lease these assets back to the customer. This type of transaction can provide much, a much needed cash infusion for some companies. Uh, and long term, there may be one or two service offerings created because of what we know now about a pandemic outbreak. The importance of hygiene and sterilization, in my opinion, are likely gonna translate into new maintenance offerings from Donlin that ensure that shared vehicles are safe from transmitted viruses.